Welcome back to Bark and Jack. I'm Adrian and today we are in London with Mr. Porter checking out a whole load of brand new watches for 2021. Let's go see what they've got. I know exactly what they've got. They've, they've got some really hot watches. Fan and oh, I, Blue I'm, Angels and Santos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the only one for me that sort of sits, sits squarely in your wheelhouse, if you like. But um, uh, well, watches for me have uh, there's kind of two sections of it. I appreciate the craftsmanship. Yeah, I like what it is. I like this just as much as I like old grandfather clocks that were in the early days of uh, measuring time. Yeah, and so yeah. It's, it's it's a similar excitement of. This is a 300-year-old grandfather clock, and it's got a moon phase in it. Yeah. The fact that someone came up with that concept back then or able to calculate that and do it, I think that's, that's pretty damn cool. And so for me, this is the modern version of that. It, it isn't my style. I can't afford it anyway. But it's, it's someone pushing the envelope forward. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back a step. C could you explain the background to Mr. Porter? Well, Mr. Porter, I suppose, um, it began 10 years ago. We're celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Um, can't claim too much personal credit. <laughs> but yeah, it was set up, um, you know, it sprang out of net porter and is the, obviously, the male counterpart to, to that and aimed at offering, you know, the very best men's style, men's fashion, ready to wear, tailoring, streetwear, and it's grown and grown and grown, accessories, homeware, living. Um, in, an, in a purely e-commerce uh, landscape. So we're, we're a global e-commerce retailer. And at the time that was quite groundbreaking, offering high luxury, offering some of these brands um, on an e-commerce platform. And it's also, one of the sort of founding principles was commerce with content. Right. At the same time as, as trying to offer the best, you know, best products, best, Best things to buy it was all about telling the right stories and putting them in a context that the right customer would um, would warm to mm -hmm. and would feel uh, you know good engagement with feel like we're actually speaking to them rather than just selling to them so how do you fit within the mr porter um so offering? yeah I, I joined about 18 months ago as the oh wow so quite new yeah quite new, <laughs> although uh, we've done a lot in that time sure. um i'm the my job title is a senior watches editor it's quite grand. Cool, that is. I am effectively responsible for anything we do watch related on our editorial platforms, on our social platforms. I guess that's why you've been brought on board to, to elevate the yeah, watches. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think there's, there's an understanding that you know, to, be, to be taken really seriously in the watch world, you have to have the expertise, you have to have that sort of authenticity, credibility. And the watch customer, as you know well, has over the last decade, has really educated themselves about the products. So it's also incumbent on us to, uh, I suppose, to have raised our game mm -hmm. to speak to them with the right degree of expertise and knowledge and show that we understand the passion for watches from a perspective of having lived it and come, th come up through it ourselves. Yeah. So I've, I've been in watches for just over a decade and you know, we are able to now, we, we speak to our audience with, hopefully, <laughs> with credibility. <laughs> about luxury watches yeah um that's yeah that, that's really the goal oh, and it's a complex thing to sell because it's you're not just selling a product there's, mm. there's an educational piece around it if you're going to sell this highly complex highly engineered product you kind of need to know what you're you're talking about it isn't a transaction yeah. it's it's more than oh completely i mean we know a, a watch is for most people it's quite a considered purchase yeah they take time over it they want to research it they want to fully understand it and that's obviously something we want to help them with we don't just want to be there when they decide to, to buy it from us. Um, and yeah, we're, we're talking to people who may be coming into this relatively fresh, maybe looking to buy their first or second, your serious watch. So we have to have a voice for them. We have to say, right, you know, we are, um, without being any way patronizing, we are introducing you to the world of luxury watches. So we are doing that educational, that explanatory kind of content. But we're also fully aware that with, with brands on our site, like, H. Moser, like Laurent Ferrier, like Ressence, we know we're not talking to debutantes in the watch industry, we're talking to people who really know their stuff. Yeah. And we have to come across well to them as well. We have to prove to those people who are quite rightly, you know, very particular about every detail because you have to be, 
that we know what we're talking about for them and that we are the right place to buy that kind of watch. Yeah. I think dress watches are becoming more popular, or at okay. least in my viewpoint of watches. Yeah. Um, I'm still a big fan of tool watches and watches with purpose. That's why I like these. Well, see, a dress watch for me is a watch with purpose. It's just a watch with a very different type of purpose to it. You know, yes. it its purpose isn't practical. It's elegant and um, sartorial. Sure. But it's still got a role to play. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And, and uh, dress watches first came back onto my viewpoint mm. um, because I was going to a wedding and I didn't have a watch that I thought was suitable for a wedding. And you're absolutely right. It does have a purpose. This is to... Uh, go with an outfit it's, it's to accompany an outfit and as a lot of people say watches are yeah. the guy's version of jewellery it, it is jewellery I'd probably have this this fashion on um, uh, a leather band but I think if it's going to be a dressier choice then yeah this this is actually for me it puts it back in an everyday admittedly a quite high end everyday um, <laughs> yeah. bracket but I think you're right it's yeah okay there's there's, there's a jewellery and a sort of accessorising element to it but I've always thought of, thought of it as well in, in the context of, you know, you have multiple outfits for multiple things you do in your life. Mm -hmm. You have, um, you know, you have a fine pair of leather, leather shoes, for example, and you don't wear them to the gym. And equally, you don't wear, you know, your, your Apple Watch when you've got a three-piece suit on. It, 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 yeah. it has to complement itself. And the Santos here is our, is our sort of pair of brogues. Um, it's it's, it's just know. so classical. It's, yeah. It's stunning. This is really very, very nice. But I also really like, um, I'd love to wear this with jeans and a grubby t-shirt yeah. or shorts. And I think that there's a nice contrast between the elegance and breaking that up. Um, that makes it quite fun. It doesn't quite work the opposite way if you were to wear a big fat <laughs> colorful. Yeah. Well, that's very Sorry, true. We do a lot, we have talked a lot about um, the fact you can dress down the elegant staples. Yeah. It's not quite so matter of fact to dress up uh, a sort of 44 millimeter, is it 44? Pilot's chronograph, yeah. um, completely. But these are really fun. IWC, I think, are starting to really get um, more playful and more inventive with yeah. the Pilot's range. And have you got a standout piece from this year's launch? Ah, oh, I mean, Always, always being asked for a single pick is, is, is the, <laughs> the hardest thing. I mean, even the just like the ones thing. that I've chosen, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would happily have yeah. any of these. Um, so no way, yeah, it's, I'm, it's tricky. I'm pretty obsessed with the new um, Overseas Perpetual, the Ultra Correct. Thin. Yes. I'm a sucker for Ultra Thin designs. I, I am hugely uh, impressed with the Overseas ever since they revived it, gosh, what, five or six years ago now. Uh, and that one just for me combines so many things I love in one watch. If I could ever actually afford it i would <laughs> happily wear that you know day in day out um and perhaps on a more as you say real world level um i actually find that the, the new 1858 from mont blanc is perhaps my favorite of that line yeah. so far the ultra black really into that um glc's reverso in green was it was a big hit for me earlier in the year cool you know i as you see i can't pick one yeah, yeah I, but... <laughs> I have a real hard time picking one it's been a colorful year yeah chris thanks so much for your time adrian pleasure really appreciate it thank you